Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, The Collection. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a father and his daughter, Alina, inside a car. The father comforts his daughter after the loss of her mother and reassures her that even though her mother is gone, he will be around more to make up for her mother's absence. The daughter nods in understanding and suddenly a car crashes into theirs. Years later, Alina puts on her hearing aids and answers a call coming from her boyfriend. He tells her that he cannot make it to their date tonight because of a work-related issue. She tells him that it is okay and that they can go out again some other time. She ends the phone call and receives another call from her friend. She asks her if she is doing anything at the moment. Elena tells her she's doing nothing, but hints that she will be going to bed. The friend manages to convince her to come down from her apartment and join her and Josh as they make their way to a party. As Elena takes a while to come down, Josh asks Elena's friend for tips on how to talk to women. She simply tells him to be confident and compliments them. Elena makes her way down and enters the car. Then they drive to where the party is being held. They arrive on the street and walk down an alley where they meet a scary man. Elena tells him the password to enter the party, and the man grabs a remote and aims it at the gray door behind them, which opens up a hallway leading to the underground rave where the party is being held. Once inside, they are greeted by flashing lights, loud music, and energetic partygoers as the party rages on. The three of them make their way to the middle of the dance floor, successfully navigating through the packed crowd. Elena bumps into her boyfriend doing smelly exercise with another woman. She stares for a few seconds in shock and then slaps him across the face. She leaves in a hurry, but she's not aware that a known serial killer named The Collector is watching her from the ceiling. She makes her way into the bathroom, where she finds a mysterious red box. She carefully opens it, and a creepy man covered in blood pops out with his name, Creep. He warns her not to stand up and to stay down, as an arrow launches itself in their direction, and thus sets off a trap. The trap activates, and spinning spikes from the ceiling drop into the dance floor. The spikes spin fast, chopping off the body parts of anyone in its path. Elena's boyfriend gets caught in the spikes and loses a hand. Hundreds of people die as the dance floor is flooded with blood and severed body parts. Creep begs Elena to help him, but she shoves him off and runs away. He manages to find something to unlock his bindings. Meanwhile, Elena sees her friend and a few other people get trapped in a cage and slowly crushed to death. The friend begs Elena to help her, but she can't do anything. The friend is slowly flattened along with the rest of the people trapped inside. The Collector sees Elena as the only surviving victim of his massacre. She tries to run away and meets Creep trying to break the window to get out of the building. He uses a dead body and jumps off, breaking a few of his bones. Elena gets caught and is stuffed inside the red box that Creep was trapped in. The Collector sees Creep in the streets, but he quickly runs his creepy muscles away. Creep awakens inside the hospital, where he sees his wife beside his bed. He tells her to run away, go to her mother's house, and not tell anyone where she's going. She hands him a note from the collection, which states that he's eager to see everyone from his family. This sets him in more of a panic. After the guards change shifts, a man named Lucello approaches Creep and asks him if he has seen the woman in the photo he's about to show him. The man identifies the woman as Elena and tells him that he saw her alive before he jumped off the window. Lucello then calls Elena's father about Elena, and he tells Lucello that he must bring her back at all costs, because she is all he has left. Lucello promises that she will be back home by tonight. Elena has a dream where she relives the events of what happened during the car crash. A pickup truck slams into them, and Elena is trapped inside the car. She sees her father, crippled from the crash and unable to walk, call out to her while desperately trying to crawl towards her and save her from the fire erupting inside the car. Elena is saved by a man who smashes the window and manages to pull her to safety. Elena awakens, still inside the box. She manages to poke a small hole, where she sees a man strapped to a table tied down by steel chains. He screams in a chicken voice, as the collector takes away parts of his body. He struggles and is rolled away like a ball. Helena looks through the hole a little longer, but the collector notices this and stares back at her, which scares Elena. Lucello organizes a group of men to help bring back Elena. Creep tells them that when he was thrown inside the red box, he cut his arm many times to mark the directions the collector drove in order to figure out a way to find the location of his hideout. They then navigate the city streets in a black truck until Creep tells them to stop. Meanwhile, Elena tries to use various articles of clothing to pick the lock of the red box. Lucello and the others arrive at an abandoned hotel, where Creep is certain that this is the place where he was held hostage. Alina successfully picks open the lock and sees another box, like the one she was held in. 
She opens it to find a dead body. Suddenly, she hears the door swing open, and she hides underneath a shelf filled with jars of insects. The collector notices that the red box is opened, and he unleashes three tarantulas from their jars to find her. The tarantulas find Elena's location, but she remains quiet as they crawl over her. Suddenly, the alarm sounds, which leads the collector of the room. Creep leads them to the front door of the abandoned hotel and turns to leave, but Lucello points his gun at him and tells him that he is still needed to navigate the hotel safely. He argues that it is not part of the deal, but Lucello insists that he must stay for them to be able to save Elena. The collector sees them enter the hotel through the many cameras in the hallways. Elena sees a vent and uses one of the tools in the room to break it open. Lucello and the group ran into the first trap of the hotel. Creep asks Lucello for a weapon to protect himself with, but Lucello gives him a flashlight instead. Lucello tries to contact the man assigned to guard the entrance of the hotel, but the collector gets to him first and repeatedly stabs him to death. Suddenly, a screaming man attacks Lucello, but Paz, a member of the team, manages to shoot the man in the head. They examine the man's body and deduce that the collector has been removing parts of the victim's bodies and drugging them to make them lose their minds, possibly wanting to make pickles. Creep tells them that those who aren't willing to follow his orders are turned into crazed people. The collector unleashes all the crazed people. They open fire and clear out the crazed people attacking them as fast as possible. The crazed people take a few bullets, but inevitably die as they are still human. Another member of the team tries to attack Creep for not telling them about the traps inside the hotel, but Lucello manages to calm him down. Elena crawls through vents and arrives at a room with another similar box. A woman calls out to Elena and tells her to let her out of the box. Elena slowly unlocks the box, and a blonde woman comes out. She introduces herself as Abby and tells Elena that they must not leave this room, but Elena convinces her to come with her. Lucello and the others enter a new room where they meet a crying man asking for their help. He tells them that he didn't make the collection, and a bomb implanted in his neck explodes, causing a distraction from the spikes in the ceiling. The teammate gets caught up in the explosion and fails to see the spikes, and he is impaled through his mouth. Creep uses the commotion to escape from Lucello to a narrow passageway, with little spikes on the walls preventing him from clinging to a side. Meanwhile, Elena and Abby make it to a room full of tripwires that set off various traps from the ceiling. Abby notices that Elena has a hearing aid, which causes her to doubt Elena and tells her that the Collector is merely testing her loyalty. The Collector appears from behind, causing Elena to run away and leave Abby behind. The Collector scratches his knife along the walls to scare Elena. As he manages to catch up to her, she thinks fast and climbs up the pipes and hides. The Collector notices that she disappeared, but Elena makes a noise, which makes the Collector suspicious. He jumps towards the ceiling pipes, but luckily, Alina manages to escape through another vent before he can see her. Creep makes it to the place where Abby and Elena were earlier, and he gets his finger nicked by a knife. He steps on a tripwire, but luckily manages to stop before heading straight first into the spikes. He notices a service door in the corner of the hall, which leads straight into the place where the collector dumps dead bodies. Suddenly, one of Lucello's men enters the hallway, prompting Creep to enter the service door. The man tries to open the door, but Creep holds it shut. The man leaves him alone, but he loses his grip on the door, causing him to fall onto the pile of dead bodies. He notices that the room is covered in gasoline. When a crazed person runs toward him, Creep uses the rope hanging from the ceiling to escape the dumping ground. He climbs out into the hallway once more and into a room filled with insects from the collector's collection. Meanwhile, Elena loses her hearing aid in a tight corner filled with bear traps. She manages to snatch her hearing aid before the bear trap closes on her. She then navigates the corner slowly and carefully to not hit any of the traps. Creep arrives at a bigger room filled with skeletons on display, as well as a woman nailed to the wall. She begs him in a chicken voice to help her, but the collector enters the room and slits her chicken throat before leaving. Creep manages to hide before he is seen, and when the collector is gone from the room, he picks open a door and enters a staircase lit by a red light. Elena manages to enter a room with a hollow wallpaper. She breaks the wallpaper and spots two people outside the hotel. She screams at them for help, but they don't hear it. Creep enters a big room filled with paintings, but is knocked out by Lucello. Pause, and the last remaining team member hold Creep down while he is unconscious. The collector drops down from above, shoves off Paz, and kills the other team member with a large book. Lucello tries to fight him, but he is outmatched. The collector loots a hook around Paz's leg, which suspends her from the ceiling, and she is taken to another room. Lucello and Creep try to go after her and take her sexy body back, but they lose track of where she went without traces of her smelly hormones. 
Creep tells Lucello that Alina is probably dead, since they haven't seen her yet. Suddenly, Abby approaches them, saying that she knows where Alina is, but she tells Lucello that he has to bring her out of the hotel. Abby leads them to a hallway and points in the direction of a room, saying that Alina is there. Suddenly, Paz screams for help and is heard by them. Lucello hands Creep a knife and approaches the location of the screams. Alina also tries to go and find out where the screams are coming from. Lucello goes into a hallway alone and sees many mannequins lined up and hidden behind curtains. He finally reaches the location of the sound and finds out that Paz's screams are being played from another room. He hears Elena's voice, who's trying to help Pods get out of the trap room. Lucello runs for the exit, as he notices a bomb attached to a dead body. Lucello manages to outrun the explosion and meets up with Creep and Abby. Creep notices a two-way mirror beside him and kicks it down to reveal a secret passageway. They finally manage to meet up with Elena and Paz. Lucello tells Elena that he will bring her out safely. Then Elena sees Abby with them and tells them not to trust her. But Lucello tells her that it's okay and that she helped them get to her. They make their way to where Alina was earlier and to make sure they get the attention of the two men outside, Creep asks for Lucello's gun. He hesitates at first but entrusts the gun to him. Creep fires the gun at the people outside to attract the attention of the police and once the police arrive at the area, he shoots once more which now prompts the police to send for backup. Abby decides to turn against the group and screams at one of the cameras in the room, telling their location to the collector. Paz knocks her down with a punch, and Abby trips on a trap. A claw emerges from the wall and grabs Abby. It slowly crushes her, separating her head from her sexy body. The collector arrives at their location, along with two shitty dogs, who could trace shit smell like a GPS gadget. He opens fire at Lucello, knocking him down. Creep manages to mercy kill a dog, while Lucello stabs another dog with no effort. The collector kidnaps Elena once more and takes her out of the room. Lucello tells Creep and Paz to save Elena. He reveals to them that his hand is stuck in a trap, and if he moved, he would die. Paz and Creep chase after Elena, only to find her strapped down to a table. But once they approach the table, a steel cage comes down on them. The collector taunts Creep and lights a fire near the cage, which makes the police call the fire department. The collector douses the rest of the hotel in gasoline and waits for the fire to spread over any evidence that would point to him being responsible. Creep tells Paz to break his arm so that he can unlock the door. Paz does this and sets his arm back again. They navigate the burning hotel and find their way into the display room of the collector. Paz is distracted and stabbed in the neck by the collector. She drops dead immediately. Creep tries to fight back, but is thrown to the ground along with Elena. Lucello arrives in time after escaping the trap, using the dead dog's body to bait the trap. Lucello grabs the knife and fights the collector alone. The collector gets the upper hand and manages to catch him off guard. Lucello is stabbed multiple times in the stomach before he dies. Creep uses this as an opportunity to attack the collector and wrestle his muscles with him. He manages to push the collector into the dumping ground, and he throws a little piece of paper down the hole, burning the collector. Creep and Elena manage to escape the hotel with the help of the fire department. Elena's father meets up with her and embraces her tightly. Creep goes to the bodies of the casualties to see if the collector is there, but he notices that his body is not among the pile and only his burnt mask remains. Days later, the collector is now on the run, but is caught by surprise when Creep finds his location. He tells the collector that he searched every licensed individual who has access to insects inside the hotel and found his location. He tells the collector that he will torture him slowly and then kill him. The movie ends with Creep suddenly shoving the collector to the side and putting him inside a red box as his own collection. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.